What's going on everybody? Hope everybody is having a fabulous Monday. I uh, have my wife Jess here with me. Hi! <laughs> She's very nervous to be on camera right now. Just a little bit. She's <laughs> actually very good with people, but you get her in front of a camera and she shuts down. So, I'll it's have... It's been a long time since I've had to be on camera or anything like that, so... Not very good. Well, we'll get her better at it. <laughs> But anyway, the purpose of this video is I want to come on here and obviously thank everybody that has purchased Rise and Shed items already. Uh, I kind of want to talk about what I want to do with the business and thing that I'm doing with the charity and it has to do with suicide prevention. And so I'll dive kind of right into it. On the website, you will find these shirts. Actually, right now, this is actually the most popular uh, shirt that we have the army green and then the second most popular is this black one right here this is a large it actually fits I, I love the fit of it sorry we kind of had to do <laughs> a little bit of uh, white trash rigging to get this all set up what okay with this website I want to be a good member of society. I've just grown up that way. Uh, my parents were huge on that and I actually have to thank my head football coach in high school, Mike Morgan. He just instilled into us just be a good person and be a good member of society and that's always just stuck with me. And so with every purchase at the Rise and Shed website, I'm going to be donating a dollar to the suicide prevention program the reason why I'm doing that is I actually have a personal tie with suicide. Uh, a lot of people may not know this, but when I was 17, my real father committed suicide. And it's always played a role in my life ever since then. And I just want to be able to give back and help people and let people know that they're enough. Like, they're, you know, there's always somebody there that loves you, that supports you, that wants you to do well. And it's crazy, just the people that I've met from social media and the people that want to help out, I have been blown away by the support that people have shown me already. And I mean, we've only been live for three days, the website anyway, and it's so insane, the support already and people buying merchandise. Thanks guys, appreciate it. Yes, yeah, seriously, thank you. I, it's very, very humbling and I'm just very thankful for that but also like I'll get into it a little bit um, so when I was younger my parents uh, separated they were never married but they separated but uh, my mother married when I was about one one and a half years old to my stepfather and I've just grown up with my stepfather and my mother and um, my relationship with my real dad was more of a best friend relationship. Uh, when we would see each other, it was more, we would do a lot of outdoor activities. He actually owned a pheasant farm and I grew up bird hunting a lot actually. And that was just one of my favorite pastimes is just bird hunting growing up and getting out in the outdoors. And we always went fishing, we went boating. Every time we saw each other, we were always in the outdoors, and I think that helped light the fire for what I'm doing right now. And it is a big motivation, you know, just I think about it, and I know he's up there, and he's proud of me. And that is a huge motivation for me. And I know there are probably a, a lot of people that follow me that have had a tie in suicide, and or even yourself if you've even had suicidal thoughts I just it's it's not worth it guys like there's always somebody out there that cares about you and um, my wife actually has a, a pretty cool story that ties in uh, with what we're talking about and I'll let you take the reins on this one um, hi everybody I'm Jess um, I so I grew up in st. George Utah and we had a really cool janitor that um, cleaned our high school all the time. And if she's ever watching this, Carolyn, you're amazing. Um, but she made it a point to know the kids really well and made it a point to be able to call them by name. Um, 
and there was a girl whose name isn't Sarah, but we're gonna call her Sarah for sake of privacy. Um, Sarah didn't have any friends. She didn't have a group to call her own. She kind of ate lunch by herself, walked the halls by herself, the whole thing. And Carolyn um, got wind of that. So she found out this girl's name and decided that she was going to just say hi to her. And all she was gonna do is just say hi and say her name. And that was all, she couldn't you know, really do anything else. But she met that girl and was just, hi, Sarah. And at first Sarah was really standoffish and was kind of weird and kind of cold about it. Well, this went on for the course of all the high school years for Sarah and Sarah graduated and moved on from high school and Carolyn didn't think anything of it after that. Um, years down the road, Carolyn was at a grocery store and hindsight, um, Sarah wore all black. She wore dark makeup. She, I guess she was more of like the gothic look to her and, and uh, years down the road after she had graduated, Carolyn got approached by somebody who had bright colors on, who was smiling, who was looking up, not looking at her feet. I said, hi, Carolyn. You might not remember me, but my name is Sarah. You saved my life in high school because you said my name and you didn't know, but the day that you said hi to me was the day that I was going to take my life. So thank you for saying hi to me and for making me feel like a person. Um, that's always stuck with me, that the power of somebody's name, that that's who you are, that's what you represent is in your name. And that's why Wes and I feel so strongly about this, that mm -hmm. Rise and Shed is not just a name, it's not just a simple phrase, that it really is a deeper meaning to us, that we wanted it to be something that, for y'all who really do feel like maybe you are alone, that this life gets really tough for everybody. And there's times where I think that everybody feels like, I don't know that this is gonna ever get brighter there is a brighter, there is a tomorrow, there is more than what you're feeling today. So, you know, we might not even have met you and we can already tell you that we care about you, we love you, you are important, you are loved. And that's what we hope that you guys feel whenever you come to the Rise and Shed page or you watch one of Wes's videos or you see a video of us together, um, you feel the love that we have for one another and the, and the love that we have for you guys, so. Definitely, and just, it's crazy the type of people that come out of the woodworks when, I mean, I started this as a hobby. Uh, it was just something I enjoyed doing, going out in the hills, finding sheds, and it has honestly become a blessing in disguise. Uh, I literally get to go out and do whatever I want, whenever I want, and I mean, it's Except for on special days, like anniversaries, Christmas, <laughs> birthdays. Three days a year, yes. Three days a year I have to stay home. But other than that, my wife has seriously just stepped up to the plate and I'm just so thankful for you and uh, just everything that you've done and the sacrifices you've made for our family. and. It, it's so crazy just it's here it's actually happening we launched the website on Friday and it's been three days and I am blown away and I can't be any more thankful than I am right now and it's just the beginning guys I am so pumped for what's to come uh, I'm actually heading out on a hike this week tomorrow uh, for three days with Jordan and Ryan and hopefully we can come up with a lot of antler and we can make some more dog chews and touching base back with the website. We have these shirts, another gray one, these hats, and there's five different antler chews and two different sizes of decals that you can choose from. And I just, I have no idea how this is gonna work out. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I know I'm driven, I know I'm motivated, and I'm gonna, you know, kinda, we're gonna start doing like a weekly vlog of what happened throughout the week and we all we want to we've talked about doing motivational type videos and talking about real life situations talking about marriage talking about kids talking I mean I don't know what I'm talking about with kids but I'm sure <laughs> she's good with kids I'm okay but anyway no we're literally gonna talk about anything and what I want to do though with that even with this video, if you guys have questions or if you guys have a topic that you want to touch base on, please write it down in the comments and we'll go through and we'll discuss the topic. Yeah, we want you guys to be real. We want you guys to be able to ask questions and feel like this is a safe place. 
that if there's something that you've been thinking about or you are yourself struggling with feelings of self-doubt or feelings of self, you know, of, of not being worth enough or whatever it is, um, not being enough, doing enough, we want you to know you are enough. That who you are right now is exactly who God intended you to be. And that's something that's really important to Wes and I is, is the basis of our faith and the, and the basis that, you know, your Heavenly Father made you and, and you, you're exactly who you should be. So just continue doing the best that you can and that's, that's what we're here to do is just the best that we can. So if you ever do have any questions or anything, write them down and, and let us chat yeah. with you about them. We definitely, it's, I don't, I keep on saying this, but I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Just being able to talk with you guys and interact more on a personal level. And that's something that I love to do. I love meeting new people. I love finding out people's stories. I love hearing like people, you know, that are the underdog. I always root for the underdog. I don't know why, but I kind of feel for myself I'm the underdog and just always underestimated. I always cheer for that person. I don't know why, but I've always been that way. Um, but I'm sorry that it's taken forever to get this website launched. A lot of you guys have been uh, following me for a while and I know you've been waiting for a while, but it's here. Go get yourself some swag and uh, just thank you guys so, so very much very from much. the bottom of our hearts. Uh, we appreciate everything, like seriously everything. I, I'm thankful. Thank you, you guys. We really appreciate it. And we look forward to getting to know you guys better. And thanks for jumping on board with us. It's fun. Yep. I don't know how to close this out, so have a good day. <laughs> <laughs>